Many Filipinos work 9 to 5 jobs for 5 days in a week, sometimes even more. Instead of resting or spending time with loved ones during their free time, many opt to work overtime to make ends meet. However, no matter how much effort an employee puts in a job, a lot of them are not properly compensated, such as the case of Trod Texon. I started working with the bank uh, last February uh, 2007 and resigned last January 2011. Um, I worked there as a marketing assistant in the commercial loans division. Uh, one of the factors that lead me to my resignation because of, uh, well, I think I'm undercompensated versus the workload that I do with the bank. Actually, we have many benefits. The benefits are namin, quarterly naman yung bonus. Uh, meron din naman yung mga holiday pay, ganyan. Yung compensation, actually hindi ko na ma-remember uh, yung kung ano sa contract. But then, uh, usually naman pag ganun, di ba, meron kang overtime pay, naman naka-include na yun. But with, with our bank kasi parang hindi nila pinapractice yun. Parang kailangan pang ipagpaalam kung mag-overtime, parang i-approve pa ng management. Parang meron kang bayad. Actually, yeah, trinay rin namin i-sabihin sa mga supervisor namin, sa mga bosses namin about it. Pero ang point nila, parang kaya naman daw gawin ng isang empleyado yung work na yon ng 8 hours, yung, yung required ng 8 hours a day. Pero ang point naman din namin, sabi namin na parang mm, hindi naman siya kakakayanin ng ganong oras. Um, siguro yung message ko sa kanila, um, ipaglaban nila or might as well, erase na lang nila yung concerns nila sa HR or sa management. What are the labor benefits or premiums employees are entitled to? When it comes to overtime pay, how is this computed? What should an employee do if he is not well compensated for his work. Good evening, I am attorney Karen Jimeno and you are watching Legal Help Desk on the Solar News Channel. This show is about making the law work for you by giving legal advice on topics that matter to you. And I'm attorney Rod Nepomuceno. Tonight, we will be discussing your legal rights on the issue of job premiums. What you need to know as to what you are entitled to as an employee and what you entitle to your employees as their employer. We'll discuss this issue with a legal expert who can explain to us all about it. Tonight, we are joined by attorney Cecilio Duca of the Duca Law Firm. Aside from being a practicing lawyer, he is also a law professor and an author of Labor Laws and Social Legislations, a Barrister's Companion. Good evening, Attorney Duke. Good evening. Good evening, Attorney Good evening. Duke. So we yes. call you Attorney Duke. All right. <laughs> okay. So we saw you're the case of Trod, yeah, Trod uh, Texon. Mm -hmm. And it appears that it, that she was not paid. Well, she said na she didn't feel properly compensated. But I mm -hmm. think this is something we should clarify to our viewers. Like, mm -hmm. what's the difference between just feeling that you're not getting enough or as opposed to what's your entitlement sa law? So, mm -hmm. Maybe this is something you can help us clarify. Let's yes. start with una una overtime pay. Yeah. When can they get overtime pay? Uh, provided the employee is not uh, excluded, uh, because under Article 82 of the Labor Code, there are the excluded employees, like for example, supervisors, managers, uh, mm -mm. field personnel, and the like. Yeah. Now, if uh, he, she does not belong to that group, she's okay. entitled to overtime pay. So, Trod should first clarify, you know, is she a managerial what, employee? A, I think she was back. She was handling loans. She was handling, yes. uh, yeah. She was but it depends on the official classification. Mm -hmm. Yes. So if she's mm -hmm. not a managerial or supervisory employee, she can get overtime. She's safe. entitled. Yes. Mm -hmm. And what are the requirements? Well, first of all, overtime is not a matter of right. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a privilege that should be mutually agreed upon by the employer and the employee. Mm -hmm. So if the employer would require the employee to work overtime, that means mm -hmm. working beyond eight hours, the employee must agree. Mm -hmm. There are exceptions, however, in Article uh, 89 yeah. that uh, you can compel an employee to work under certain circumstances. Yes. But as soon as they work that overtime, because their office for Trod, if her office hours are 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., mm -hmm. as soon as she works up to 5.30 or 6, automatically mm -hmm. she's entitled to overtime. Pay. She's, no, she's yes. entitled. Is this required? Uh, do, they, do you have to have a written, uh, written authority? I know there are certain rules uh, in the Labor Code that require a written authority uh, for them to proceed yes. uh, and, and be authorized to do overtime. What are those uh, um, situations? Uh, first of all, as I said, uh, it should be a mutual uh, agreement. No? Uh, mm -hmm. The employer must consent to the overtime work and the employee mm -hmm. must also agree. 
Right. And therefore, there must be an authorization to perform oh, overtime is that work. Ver verbal? Is that ver I mean, uh, for example, just the, the nature of the work required her to, to mm -hmm. go beyond the, the eight hours. Well, is that enough? Now, uh, yeah, yeah, the officer or the the, the supervisor te tells him or her, it you have to work. You have to work beyond. It that's, depends that's on the enough. policy of the company. Mm -hmm. If uh, if it requires written authorization, then written mm -hmm. authorization must ah, be so given. It depends on the policy. And then the rate for overtime pay is. How much for, well, for Trod? Mm -hmm. It depends. Had... If you perform overtime work on a regular day, it's normally 25% of the yes. regular so rate per any, hour. Yeah, any regular day. Okay. Yes. If it, is, uh, if it falls on a regular holiday or special holiday or rest day, then it should be 30% of the regular rate per hour. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, just to... Nope. Now, when you say re regular rate, you're talking just about the, the cash component of the, the salary, yes, right? Yes, the basic uh, yeah. wage. Yeah. 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 So, you don't, so you're can... just to clarify to our viewers and to Trod, if she's watching right now, mm. you, what uh, Attorney Duca is, Duca is explaining is that, for instance, if your rate per hour, or sorry, your regular wage for the day is 100 pesos, then you're entitled to 25% of that as soon mm. as you work beyond eight hours. So you'll get... Um, 125 not pesos per hour. Not necessarily, because 100 uh, pesos per day, mm -mm. then you have to divide that by 8 because you divided work 8 by hours. Eight hours. Oh, okay. yes. mm -hmm. So 100 pesos divided by 8, eight. times 25% okay, right. is what yes. you'll get for every, for every hour. hour or beyond, fraction beyond of, eight hours. of so hours. Times one, yeah. In effect, times 1.25%. 1. 1. Yeah, that's yes. right. Okay. okay. Yeah, now, now and, in, and then, to get last question, if she really found out that she wasn't paid for overtime or holiday, how can she claim this? Because she already resigned. Uh, she is no longer employed, then she can go to the Department of Labor Regional Office and file uh, money claims under Article 129 of the Labor Code. But okay. she has to do that within three years. Okay, so Duca, make sure you do it within three years from the time you resigned. Because she mentioned yeah. she resigned 2011. Yeah, 2011, yeah. So oh. Well, still a still within, still within. Okay. All right. Okay, let's now. answer a few yeah. questions from our viewers. Our first question is from Tere, and she asks via Twitter, can an employer force an employee to come to work during holidays? Okay, yes, so. based on the circumstances as may be provided by law mm -hmm. and dependent mm -hmm. also on the CBA between mm -hmm. the employer and the union. CBA meaning so, collective, collective bargaining, bargaining agreement. agreement. So it can, the employer yes, can, can. can require. What um, are those situations? What are those well, if there are certain uh, emergency, mm -hmm. emergency, then yeah. the there's a need to continue working, to take advantage of a favorable working condition. And I think if, yeah. if life and death is, uh, is a yes, problem. Yes. Emergencies, yeah. Yes. Emergencies. But then if there's no emergency, mm. the general rule is that you cannot be compelled to work on a holiday. Yes. Right? Yes. The so, yeah. only consequence would be if you do allow yourself to, if you allow, you're allowed, you allow yourself to work on a holiday, then you're allowed to get uh, additional holiday compensation. Yes, that's right. Yes. Now, okay, our next question is from Charles, and he asks via Twitter, I work for a company whose work hours demand more than eight hours, but I don't think the pay is adequate. Should I demand for additional pay to, to my salary? Now, this is a tricky question because he's, he seems to be questioning the mm -hmm. adequacy of his pay and not so much the fact that he has to work beyond eight hours. I think the general rule here, attorney, correct me if yes. I'm wrong, is that uh, if, if it's beyond eight hours, He's, uh, and he falls within the parameters mm -hmm. of the law. He is entitled to overtime, overtime pay. pay. About the adequacy of his pay, that's, that seems that's, to be a totally that's different, a, <laughs> that's different story. Pay. Because yeah. we have the regional wage board as provided yeah. by law that uh, it fixes the minimum wage per region. Yeah, so, so yeah. basically if, he doesn't, if he's being paid less than that, then, then he, has, he can file a complaint. Then he can file a complaint. All right, yes. there you go. Okay, our third question comes from Valerie via Facebook. She asks, what is night, different, night shift differential and who are entitled to it? Are call center agents one of them? Definitely, so definitely. Yeah. Because under Article 86 of the Labor Code, if... Call uh, center agents. Uh, right? Call center agents. If uh, the employer employs more than five workers, mm -hmm. then they are entitled to night shift differential pay. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Night shift differential is paid, which is 10% of the regular rate if for mm -hmm. a work done from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. Yes. the following day. Even uh, if this is part of their regular working hours, yes, right? Yes, So basically, so, if you have overtime and then they're getting paid 25%, then you reach the point of 10 p.m. So mm -hmm. that's 25 plus... Plus 10%. 10? Oh, okay. Yes, plus there you go. 10%. 10%. Pa, yes. All right, all right. So for those who are call center agents, kunwari, they really have to go to work at 11 p.m. Mm -hmm. to 6 a.m., then that's automatically 
10% more Less dapat, 10%. Yun, diba, of yes. the regular wage. That's right. Okay, okay. now Mike naman, asks us uh, via Facebook, how do, how do you compute for overtime pay, holiday pay? Is there a formula we can use to compute it for ourselves to see if it is being followed? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, uh, basically, let us uh, yeah. uh, dissect the question. Yeah. There are so many issues yeah. there. Uh, first of all, you have to... Uh, Let's start with regular Re regular days. holidays. Oh, regular o days. Regular days. Typical, days typical Monday to Friday, yeah. for o instance. Na OT, so, overtime. Tapos okay. overtime ka. Okay. Uh, regular day, you have uh, 25% for yes. any work beyond uh, 8 hours. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so para, para madali. For if your wage that day is 800 pesos per day, then you divide that by 8 day. hours. So 100 per pesos. hour ka technically. Tapos, Plus for instance, if you work beyond your 8 hours, that's already... 125. Times, yes, 100 125 pesos. pesos times 25% your additional yes. 125 mm -hmm. pesos, right? No. Yes, okay. yes. Uh, right. And then, and then next for, would for be mga holiday. regular holidays. Yeah. For regular holiday under Article uh -huh. 94, if the employee does not work, he's entitled to 100% of the regular wage. Okay, mm -hmm. so we talk about regular holidays, you talk about mga legal uh, holidays, Christmas, right? Yeah. Christmas, yeah. 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 New Year, uh, uh, Independence also, Day, yeah. Labor Day. Even Eid, Eid il Fitir. Yeah. It's a regular yeah. holiday. Idol Adha. So, uh -huh. so now that's if he didn't work. Now, if, if he, he worked, worked, if, if he, worked, he works, then he receives 200%. 200%. Oh. So, in our example, if you're getting 800 pesos as your daily wage, mm -hmm. pag hindi ka pumasok on a regular holiday like Christmas, you're still supposed to get, get 800, 800 pesos. pesos. Oh. And then, if you work on that day, then you get 1,600 1, pesos. Mm -hmm. Tapos, pag mag-overtime ka pa, that's 30% times 1,600. 30% of the 200%. Yes. Now, we have to clarify yung difference between regular holidays and special holidays. Yes, yes. Kasi if they didn't work on a special holiday, and when we talk about special holidays, we're talking about the, um, the December All Souls Day. Uh, All Souls Day is a okay. special holiday. December 24. December 24. No, no. December 24. Uh, no that's Actually, a regular there, holiday. There are, three, uh, na, there are three special holidays under the law, no? Mm -mm. Republic Act 9492. Last this is day of the uh, year. last day of the year. Yeah. Uh, All Souls Day and uh, the day, Monday, nearest August 21. Mm -hmm. so Monday near yeah. August, August 21. Uh, you know, so those are the three. Yes. yes. So those special holidays, if you did not work, no pay. No pay. No work, mm -hmm. no pay right. is the policy. And then mm -hmm. if you worked, then you get additional premium pay of 30%. 30%. So again, okay. kung 800 pesos a day ka, then 800 times 30%, you get an additional 240 pesos. No? Yes. Ayan. Okay. All right. So let's take a short break. Legal Help Desk will return after these reminders. You are still watching Legal Help Desk on the Solar News Channel. We are still joined by attorney Cecilio Duca. Okay, let's answer a few more questions uh, from our viewers with the help of attorney Duke. All right. <laughs> uh, we have a Facebook question from Abdul. All right. And he asks I am a Muslim working for a non Muslim corporation. During Muslim holidays, can I be excused from work to observe these holidays? Will it affect my overall salary? if I were absent from work. I think there are specific laws on this. No? Yes, yeah. yes. Uh, well, uh, an employee is entitled to regular uh, rest day every mm -hmm. week. Right. Now, uh, the fixing of uh, rest day mm -hmm. would be uh, included in the consideration is the, the, the religious belief of a person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, let's say, for example, a Muslim would prefer a uh, rest day on a Friday because he mm -hmm. has to attend to his religious duties, mm -hmm. then it should be considered by the employer. Yes, but in this case as well, he's asking, if I have to work on a Muslim holiday, then can I be excused from work? And I think the answer is yes, the right? yes. yeah, okay. um, For Muslims, you you are not required to go to work. It's considered a regular holiday as well, yeah. right? Yeah. Basically, our laws now consider the Muslim holidays as regular holidays. Like, for example, the end of Ramadan, which is Eid al-Fitir, mm -hmm. and uh, their day for sacrifice, which is Eid al-Adha. Mm -hmm. These are yes. Muslim holidays, which are now regular holidays. Yes. Now, what, what and if, Abdul, just to add, mm -hmm. Uh, this applies even if you work for a non-Muslim yes. corporation. Yeah. So if they're forcing you to work on those days, then you're entitled to 200% of your regular wage. Now, uh, this is a far off question, but basically if, you have a, if you're part of a religion where the, the, the usual rest day is not on a Sunday, yes, yes. and then you say, okay, let's say Monday is your day of worship. I mm -hmm. think there's some sects like that. Yes, can, yes. You, can you invoke that? And, and yes. Say, so every week you're, you're yes, free on, on Monday. Yes. Ah, Instead right. of working on a Sunday, yeah. you... 
get your rest day on that particular day because mm -hmm. uh, religious freedom is a constitutional but right. But then, if he has to work on that rest day, kung ang pinili niyang rest day is Monday because of his religion, and then mm -hmm. he ends up working on that day, the additional mm -hmm. pay would be 30%. 30%. 30%. Okay. All right. Now, can can he then say, can the employer then say, all right, I, uh, I'll i move I'll move it. If, for example, um, I'll... If you're working on a particular day, you know, mm -hmm. if this, this with respect to the employer, you know, and then you you tell the employer, I uh, tell the employer, you know, you 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 can just take a leave on another day. Mm -hmm. Is that possible so that I don't have to pay overtime pay? Well, for, for that's, example, it's, oh. that's possible uh, if there are ad circumstances mm -hmm. which are beyond the control of the employees, and those circumstances are listed in Article 92 of the Labor Code. All Board. right. Okay. okay. Now let's go to our next question. Uh, Amy asks us via Twitter, how can I be entitled for two? Holiday pays, ba? Two holiday well, pays. Well, two holidays. <laughs> okay. Double benefit. There are instances there, when... Are there instances? Oh, yes, there are instances when uh, two holidays would fall on the same day. Okay. Like, for example, Araw ng Kagitingan, which is April 9, mm -hmm. uh, somehow it uh, falls on a Monday, Thursday or Good mm -hmm. Friday. Now, oh. the rule, according to the Department of Labor, as mm -hmm. affirmed by the Supreme Court in mm -hmm. that case of Asian Transmission versus Court of Appeals, mm -hmm. then if the employee does not work, she receives uh, 200%. 200 yes. But if the employee works, she receives 300% only. Mm. Okay. No, no, there's a rule also that the, the day before you should you yes, should, should be, be present. Not up, you should be present. present. Right? Why why is that? I know young uh, what is there any uh, policy or why why do you have to be present the day before? Well, it presupposes that the employee must uh, be diligent enough mm -hmm. because uh, Somehow, it is in our culture that if tomorrow is a holiday, I would be absent today. So, to prevent that <laughs> yeah. from, prevent happening. from happening. So, our, okay. that's for our viewers, that's yeah. important to know. If you want to get the regular holiday pay, meaning kunwari, Christmas, gusto nyo makuha yung sweldo nyo for that day, even if you don't go to work, you have to go to work on the 24th yes. para entitled kayo doon. Or you no. have to be on leave no. with no. pay. Uh, leave yes. Okay, our next question comes from Edward, and he asks via Facebook, As a boss, how can I make sure that my employees are not abusing their privileges or premiums, such as overtime pay or holiday pay? Okay, interesting question. Kasi, kasi nga naman, diba? As soon as you've worked beyond 8 hours, kunwari, up to 5 p.m. lang trabaho mo, if you're in the office up to 5.30 or 6, mm. you're automatically entitled to overtime pay. Yes. Oh, I've had yeah. office mates before and I stay para lang makuha yung meal allowance. So, mm. what what measures can employers do naman? Uh, can they implement, is it allowed uh, under the law if they implement, for instance, that uh, a formal notice and approval na if you're going to work overtime, you have to approve it. Yes, that's part, uh, part of management prerogative okay. in order to control the uh, means and method by which the employee mm -hmm. perform the task. Okay, so maybe, Edward, that's what you can do. Um, have like an official slip or overtime form. Yeah. authorization form, yeah. uh, overtime pay, mm -hmm. uh, overtime authorization form so that mm -hmm. employees don't ha can't stay yeah. na wala naman palang ginagawa yeah. no? and get the <laughs> overtime pay. Or holiday pay, holiday maybe, pay. kung hindi naman sila kailangan. They have to ask maybe an authorization to work on those days. Now, uh, if, they, if they feel that the employer is uh, taking advantage of them and, and basically in, insisting, oh, you have to finish that work, you have to finish that work. No? It's the nature of your job that you mm -hmm. have to finish your work. Uh, but they feel that they're, they're really uh, forced no, to, mm -hmm. to do overtime. They go to what particular division of the Department well, of Labor? Well, it depends if the uh, if the establishment is mm. uh, organized, meaning there is a union and they they have mm. their collective bargaining. Yeah. Then they could go oh, to their the grievance union. machinery, uh, right. grievance okay. machinery, and then they're after voluntary arbitration. Mm. 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 Yeah. Now, if so, there is no union, mm. meaning there is no collective bargaining agreement, mm. then probably the Department of Labor uh, regional office could help. Mm. Mm. Right. power of the regional uh, director. I see. Okay. All right, we have uh, another question uh, coming from John uh, via Facebook, and, and he asks, okay, if I have a special requirement that I require workers to work away from their regular work area uh, only for the weekend, for example, and from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m., including overtime, are they entitled to overtime pay if they are not capable of returning home? So, for example, uh, like I, a concrete example, I have a project in Corredor, mm -hmm. for example, and I would uh, then require my team to go to Corredor. Now, the, uh, the, the boat, uh, the ferry from Corredor only comes back 2 p.m. Mm -hmm. That's the last ferry from Corredor to Manila, but their job requires them to stay till 5 p.m., which means 
that they can't return to Manila yes. and they'll have to stay overnight mm -hmm. in Corredor. Are, uh, do I have to pay them overtime pay? Well, general rule, you have to because uh -huh. uh, this is an integral part of their task. Until next, until next day. Mm -hmm. yes. So, see, si uh -huh. John, who's asking uh -huh. this on Facebook, uh -huh. medyo mahal pala for him, no? Oh, you, oh, ano, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's something you can consider, John, if it makes sense to keep your employees away for that weekend, no? Mm -hmm. yes. So, so that's, that's very important. And unfortunately, we are running out of time, but let's take a few last minutes by giving a quick recap. First, um, it's important to distinguish between regular holidays mm, and, and special, special holidays. So mm. know your, it pays to know the holidays. Because again, if it's a special holiday mm. like Ninoy Aquino Day or just Last All day Souls year. Day, if you don't show up for work, you don't you get, get paid. paid. Mm. But then if it's a regular holiday like New Year mm -hmm. or you know, Holy Days, mm. no? like Holy Thursday, Good, Good Friday, Friday, then if you don't show up for work, you still should get your salary for that day. And then if you work, you should get twice. Right. Vale, 20%, whatever 20%. your salary is, 500 pesos a day times two, 1,000 pesos. Yeah. And then uh, maybe and yeah, um, well, uh, that's... Uh, what about, yeah. yeah, recap on overtime. Oh, yeah, over, uh, overtime pay. For, for example, um, I just have one, one, one question. Mm -hmm. uh, the, this is part of the recap. And then if you're already providing a benefit, a cash mm -hmm. benefit to your employees let's say you give them per, per dimes or any, any kind of allowances which go beyond the the the, the mandatory overtime pay mm -hmm. that, that are you still required to give uh, overtime pay i mean that's mandated by law well general rule yes but uh, it could be negotiated depending on the collective bargaining agreement mm -hmm. of the right. employees and okay. the employer but uh, if there's no collective bargaining agreement then you have to pay overtime pay. You have to pay overtime pay. Okay, and right. then, of course, for our friends or viewers who work in call centers or mm -hmm. night shifts, you're entitled to what's called a night shift differential pay, meaning it should be 10% more of the regular wage if you're working between 10 p.m. and 6 a.m., even if this is your regular job. Mm -hmm. So uh, don't forget, but there are some who are not covered by this law. Katulad ng mga government employees, including yeah. na sa mga government-owned uh, corporations, and managerial employer, employees are also not covered, mm. right? Yeah, that's yeah, and yeah, also yeah. for establishments who employ less than five, five employees. Yeah. And the cooperatives as yes. well, uh, but oh, except Provided for their members. Their members, yes. of, their the members of the cooperative, they're not covered by yes. overtime pay. Okay. But if they are hired by the cooperative, let's as say employees. Mga, as employees, mm. then they're yes. covered. And right? Attorney Duca, maybe parting words, if they're not getting all of these overtime pay, holiday pay. Where can they go to ask for help? Well, or they have remedy? to report that, file complaints with the regional office of the Department of Labor and Employment. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. That's very helpful. All right. That's all the time we have left. I would like to thank our guest for tonight, Attorney Duca, for joining us tonight and explaining your rights on job premiums. I'm Attorney Rod Nepomuceno. And I'm Attorney Karen Jimeno. Join us again next Monday as we talk about your legal rights on the issue of adoption. Good night.